All right, so in today's video, I have a caliber gun cricket here that I'm going to be adding a power plenum to. Uh, this is the Ernest Rowe caliber gun cricket one plenum upgrade. Uh, very cool. For those of you that don't know what a plenum is, uh, that is the space, the regulated air, after the unregulated space, uh, as plenum implies. So uh, that we've just increased the amount of volume that is regulated on this end. The regulator is right about here. Uh, so we've added that space and generally adding uh, more volume to your plenum or your regulated airspace uh, generally will increase the power or allow you to be more efficient. So you can kind of lower the hammer spring and get the same power you were achieving uh, before you added the plenum. This Cricut One uh, side lever in the back uh, is getting about 60 to 65 foot pounds of energy with a 38 grain slug. So what I'm going to do is do a shot string right now, leave all the variables the same, and then just add the power plenum to see what kind of efficiency or power, or both, we get by adding that. Uh, now I calculated, I, I couldn't find any specs on how many cc's uh, the volume is. Now there's some threading, and roughly I came up with about 17 to 18 uh, cc's of extra plenum. I don't know if that's correct, but I did a volume of a cylinder uh, calculation and that's what I came up with, but we'll see what that adds. Um, so I'll do a shot string first. We'll leave everything the same, hammer spring, everything. Don't change, that's the only variable is adding the power plenum and let's see what kind of efficiency or power, uh, well we should gain power uh, right away. Yes, well, we're going to be adding a little bit of space for air, so but let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to take a shot string. Let me do that now. 849. 849. As you can see, the <laughs> now this gun has been sitting for a little bit. 868. 868. It's constantly climbing. 875. Okay, that's not good. Let's see what's going on here. Well, yeah, we're about we're above 150 bar. 875. All right, that's now we're now we're getting a little more consistency. 875. Wow, three in a row. All right, let's see what we get now. 861. All right, so as you can see, I think we're falling off the reg now. Hmm, we're about 160 bar. So as you can see, we're getting about 870, uh, 872 feet per second uh, once the reg came up to proper uh, speed. Let's pause. Let's take the gun apart and air it. Okay, so I now have the power plenum installed, and you can see that the uh, two air tube is a little longer and I've made no changes to this gun except adding the power plenum. I took a few shots, dry fired it just to get the regulator accustomed. I have the same 38 grain dish base 253s. I'm going to put them in. Let's do a shot string. All right, so let's try it out. Now I do have the bottle tethered. Uh, I'm at about 175 on the air tube. Uh, this is so because I'm running out of air and I want to make sure it stays above the regulator. I believe the regulator is about 155. So let's do some test shots. Here we are at, let's see what we got. 905. Okay, 905. 916. 916. Okay, that's a little. 919. 919. All right. Looks like it's going to take a few shots to get up to where it needs to be. 
919. Okay, 919. 916. 919. 900. Okay. 19. I think that's pretty clear. Uh, so we're before we were about 875, somewhere around there. Now we're about 919. Wow. So that is almost 45 feet per second faster with the same exact slug. Nothing else changed. That is quite a difference. So we went from about uh, 64, 65 foot pounds of energy at 875 with a 38 grain to now at seven, over 71 foot pounds of energy, uh, same 38 grain at 919. So that's six foot pounds of energy just by adding the power plenum. Plus, I've got more airspace, so I'm sure it added a shot or two, uh, which that's not really why you did it. I did it because I wanted a little more power with the same tune, and it looks like it's shooting really uh, now where I want it to be. Uh, again, I shoot 36 grains out of this, so I could probably turn the hammer back get more shots uh, with more power from before, from previously, or the same power from previously. Uh, so it's a benefit. Again, uh, I like this. Ernest Rowe, uh, Caliber Gun Cricket, Plenum. Uh, great, great, uh, great addition to your gun. Goes to show what a larger Plenum can do for your gun. Let me shoot a little bit more. Let's see what we get. 900. 914. Now it should creep back up to 919. 921. 921. 921. All right, so well above 71 foot pounds of energy, at least with a 38 grain. 923. So it's funny enough, um, I don't use this gun a whole lot. Uh, so the regulator has been sitting for a few months. And by the way, surprisingly, this gun is from 2017 and has never leaked an ounce of air. How amazing. And I have, uh, I have opened this tube at least five or six times, uh, you know, always worried that I'm going to nick the O-rings. But, you know, this is the beauty and simplicity of having just a few O-rings, one here, one in the front. That's it. No worries. Uh, if it leaks, it's real easy to figure out which one it is. But this gun is rock solid. Nine hundred. Nine nineteen. There it is. It's steady at seventy-one foot-pounds of energy. So if you want to add more power to your gun, make sure to enlarge your plenum. Uh, it's a real inexpensive, great upgrade.